Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. Hello, Exchange family, and welcome to another incredible Chief Chat. Um, I am Emily Zarsk. Chief is still traveling in Europe um, and checking on all the exchanges and our nation's heroes over there. Um, but today with me, of course, I have one of my favorite people, Kiana Holloman. Kiana, how's it going? What's good? How are you, Emily? I'm good. Um, I'm really excited about today. Um, so today is amazing. So before I pass it over to you to introduce our guest, I want to just thank all our soldiers, our airmen, our guardians, Marines, sailors, and Coast Guard members, as well as our military families for joining us today. So without further ado, Kiana, introduce our guest. <laughs> yes, so today's guest star is a first-generation American actress who found her passion for performing through figure skating. She has appeared in Netflix's All the Bright Places and the Helen Hunt and Paul Reiser revival series, Mad About You. She's here today to give a military-exclusive look into her role as Chrissy Beppo in season three of Superman and Lois. Please give a warm Chief Chat welcome to Sophia Hasnik. <laughs> Hi, hey, Sophia. It's, uh, it is such a pleasure to have you with us today. Do um, you mind sharing with um, all the viewers where you're coming from? Um, I'm coming from Los Angeles right now. Sort of rainy, kind of sunny Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. No, Sophia, we're so excited to chat about your acting career um, and your current role on Superman and Lois. So first question, when did you know that you wanted to pursue acting as a career and what do you enjoy most about acting? You know, I, I think that it was really solidified for me, probably my um, first year in, in college, actually. I um, got into UCSB as a pre-biz econ major and I was not having a good time and I wasn't doing really well and it wasn't until I took an acting elective um, that I realized that oh no I think what I want to be doing is acting so I auditioned for the BFA program um, and at that point it was like no this is it to whatever capacity it is I need to be acting so I kind of just switched gears um in that way <laughs> wow, that's and great. i think that's exciting. like the most exciting thing about acting is like getting to explore different people um really like studying people and getting to use my imagination and getting to work with such amazing people on a creative level um it really really feels overwhelming and amazing that's awesome. And so you um, played the role of Chrissy for three seasons now. Um, so mm -hmm. what's the most like noticeable difference in your character from season one until now? Yeah. <laughs> Chrissy has uh, definitely grown from season one um, up until now. I think that her confidence more than anything um, has really, really blossomed. Um, at first starting off as this very starstruck, uh, taken aback by her idol, Lois Lane, um, to then getting to work with her at the Gazette, to then being partners with her at the Gazette, and now getting to work with her and Clark on these incredible um, investigative journeys. It's, it's, I can really see her, her growing in that way as a journalist. No, so you also star alongside my childhood crush, Tyler Hecklin, <laughs> as well as Elizabeth Tulloch in the series. So what is it like working with two actors with years of acting experience as you make your own mark in acting? Oh my God, they are so much fun. It's, it's really refreshing because they know how to keep it light and we have so much fun on set. And then like, boom, like they're on it um really right when we start rolling it's just like this perfect combination of professionalism but also just kind of like non-stop comedy behind the scenes they're they're 
such great people. Um, I feel so blessed to be working alongside them, truly. That's awesome. And so um, what other actors and act, um, actresses would you love to work with? And what would be your dream role in a show or a film? Ooh, you know, I've always admired um, how captivating Joaquin Phoenix is. Um, he just really knows how to dive so deep into a role. I think that it would be kind of incredible to get to work with him at some point and a dream role um i've always really wanted to do like some type of period piece um and the follow-up to that would then be like well what period and i have no idea but just like any type of just like anything um that i can really like sink my teeth into and jump into like a completely different world i think that that would be um not only a challenge but I, I think that it would be just an incredible time to sort of like disappear into that for a while. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. awesome. So jumping back into Superman and Lois. So the series is a balance of superhero drama and also some family friendly themes too. Fans are eating up the character drama this season, specifically the relationship between Chrissy and Kyle. So what was your reaction when you learned that Chrissy's story would include a love connection? <laughs> Um, I was truly taken aback a little bit because <laughs> I was like, oh, what, how, how does, how, how would this work? Especially Chrissy and Kyle, they hadn't really shared any like screen time. Nothing had ever been like alluded to it. What was alluded like throughout, I think season one, season two, especially is that Chrissy kind of like finds these moments to, to drop little hints about um her love life or her previous partners or or something like that and it's always kind of been this thing of like well is she dating anybody like what what is going on and for it to be kyle it was definitely a big surprise working with eric has been quite an experience and it's he's such a great actor um and getting to know him on a friend level for two seasons and now getting to know him on that professional actor level um it's it's been so rewarding it's awesome and then so and also with chrissy she's very serious about her journalism career and over the seasons we've seen the relationship between her and lois lane evolve through her passion so what can fans expect to see from this from the duo this season you know she it's it's so it's so interesting to me because they're 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 partners right and so in season two we saw them sort of um butting heads a little bit uh just because chrissy was so steadfast in um their journalistic integrity and she really doubled down on wanting to tell the truth and i think towards the end of season two um they sort of came back together lois sharing that massive secret with her that clark is in fact superman that uh required so much trust and so much faith in chrissy as not only a partner and a fellow journalist at the gazette but also as a friend um and i think that that relationship is uh blossoming and growing and you'll see a lot of that in season three as well um where it's not just a relationship based on a professional level but they both really do care for each other um as people and they want the best for each other and uh getting to have that through line and that connection um especially with such an iconic character um has been uh like quite quite the incredible journey so far um and working with elizabeth is is so is so great i mean she really does make it so easy <laughs> she really does like um lois and and chrissy have like quite this dynamic and i think that it's a lot of it is due to the fact that like Elizabeth and I also have that that dynamic where it's I love the work that she does and it's quite easy to to follow that lead. 
No, that's great. And I was recently on Twitter just looking through the Superman and Lois hashtag because I love to see how other fans of the show react to shows that I watch as well. So people are literally chiming in and saying that Elizabeth is their Lois Lane. Like, there's no other Lois Lane for them. It's just her. And a lot of that had to do with her recent revelation of her health condition. Um, and it's heartwarming to see the support of Superman in those moments as well. So what can fans anticipate emotionally with this season moving forward? Oh my God, like grab a tissue box. Like it's, it's, it's so, um, God, it's so real and it's so rooted. Um, and I think that that is where the connection is really made. And I think that it transcends the screen and it really tugs on heartstrings and they do such a phenomenal job, like really grounding it. Um, I think that this season, what you can expect is, um, God, really the, the struggle for hope. Um, I, I, I think, I think that Superman is a beacon of hope. He really is just as a superhero, as a character and everything. And I think that this season we're going to see all of the characters really try to latch on and believe and hope in the light at the end of the tunnel and what that does to um, relationships and what that does to a family dynamic and what that support looks like and how it evolves. Um, and it's, it's just really the human condition. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm so excited for everybody to get to see the work that everyone has put in casting crew and, and the whole company as a whole. That's incredible. And, um, so, and Sophia also the military community is watching us live. What message would you like to share with them today? I would just like to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart uh, for your service, for your bravery. I am beyond honored to be spending my morning with you all today. Thank you. Now, so and much. for our military fans who love, love, love Superman and Lois, who want an exclusive teaser from you today? <laughs> Which episode um, are you most excited for viewers to watch? Oh my god. Okay, so it's so it's so cheesy, but like every episode is so good. Uh, there's like twists and turns constantly. Um that kept all of us on our toes, honestly. Um but there is a there is like a a scene in um episode Five that I'm I'm really really excited for everyone to sort of get a load load of um, but no really every episode is kind of like pa uh, packs a punch each time. Okay, good. Yeah, so be on the lookout for each and every one. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's like what ridiculous thing to be like everyone, but it 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 sort of it sort of feels that way. I mean. Um, I was talking earlier and it's so funny because when we get the scripts, like we kind of get into a bit of a tizzy where we're like, wait, what, wait, how, wait, who? So like <laughs> the cast is also kind of like on the edge of our seats every single time we, we had gotten like a script sent out to us. Um, so it sounds like a bit of a cop out answer, but I promise you it is not, I really, really you it's not. <laughs> okay. No, we trust you. <laughs> we do. We trust you. And as a reminder to our viewers, you can catch new episodes, every single amazing, great episode of Superman and Lois, Tuesdays at 8, 7 Central on the CW and select streaming services. Sophia, what else is on the horizon for you? Right now, I, I'm kind of just also doing the tune in thing every week. Um, I'm still sort of living in Superman and Lois land right now. Um, we had wrapped kind of like mid, um, mid March. Yeah. March 14th. So I'm still coming off of that excitement. Um, so, so yeah, just all things Superman and Lois. <laughs> 
No, love it. We are so excited to see what's ahead for you and also to learn more about Chrissy throughout the rest of season three. But where can viewers go to learn and follow you and keep up with all things Sophia has meek? Um, so you can follow me on Instagram. It's um, just at Sophia has meek. Easy peasy. Awesome. And so for our Chief Chat viewers, this episode will be available on YouTube for future viewing. Be sure to join us back here at 11 a.m. Central on Tuesday, April 18th, when Lieutenant General Kevin Vereen and Sergeant Major Michael Perry join the chat for a military-exclusive discussion on preparing for PCS season. Also, mark your calendars for Thursday, June 1st at 11 a.m. Central, when retired Special Forces veteran Scott Neal joins the chat. Sophia, thanks so much for joining us today. Having you with us means so much to our nation's heroes, as well as Emily and I and our chief. Um, we wish you all the best. If you could hang out with us after the live for a few minutes so we can say our formal goodbyes. But thank you so much to our viewers for watching. Check out Superman and Lois. We're so excited for the season and all the fun and drama to unravel. But yeah, Chief Chat out. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>